Reports are coming through that Meghan Markle is now ready to dump and divorce Prince Harry. Thing is, though, is this actually true? Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, and welcome to the Dose of the Daily Nerd, where I break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much caught me eye, and oh my goodness, yeah, let's jump into this madness, shall we, because there have been divorce and split rumours that have really continued to gather pace over the years. Thing is though, last couple of weeks, oh my goodness, they have intensified. And now we have a royal expert, Hugo Vickers, jumping into the fray and saying, look, mark my words, Megzi dumped the royal family, dumped her friends, and now, guess who's next in line for the chop? Hazza himself. And so, as we all know, uh, Megzi raised eyebrows earlier on this month when she made two solo appearances without Hazza. Hazza, in turn, also raised eyebrows when, you know, he continued to make solo appearances when he went to New York and Africa again without Megzi. And so this is why the divorce split rumours have all of a sudden intensified in the last couple of weeks. And so, as we all know, since Megzi found Hazza, and as far as I'm concerned, trapped him in her clutches, yes, she has markled quite a few people, including her family and even her BFF, uh, Jessica Mulroney. There's also rumours of tension with tennis star Serena Williams, which, by the way, if you missed my video a couple of days ago... Did Serena Williams actually throw shade against Megzi when she was at a Taylor Swift concert? I'll link the video in the description bar below. It's an interesting theory and hear me out on that one. Uh, but also as well, there's also rumors of tension with Sophie Trudeau, who has reportedly distanced herself from Megzi. And again, I have reported it on this channel a few months back. Now, it comes as royal experts have previously suggested that Megzi and Hazza are living increasingly separate lives. Now, again, I reported on this channel a couple of days ago that their local Montecito newspaper, the Montecito Journal, um... The rumours were going around that they reported that Hazza and Megzi were living separate lives. Now, I've debunked that. The Montecito Journal only referenced other people's belief that they're living separate lives, not that it's the opinion of the newspaper. Again, check that video out as well. Thing is, though, out of all of this, we now have royal expert Hugo Vickers that has jumped into the fray and made his own comments about all of this. Now, who is Hugo Vickers? He's a royal biographer and broadcaster, and he's revealed how he's actually worried uh, that Megs's behavior over the years was a pattern, uh, which now this pattern could make Hazard suffer as a result. And so he exclusively tells the Sun quote, people usually act in character and they usually act on form. I hate to say it, but her form is that she dumped her father, she dumped her first husband, she dumped a Canadian chef lover, she dumped Jessica Mulroney, she then dumped the entire British royal family. Now, in that, Hugo Vickers, respectfully, has forgotten she's dumped the whole Markle family, really, as a result. Okay? You know, the other members of the Markle family. Yeah. She markled them too. She's dumped them too. Now, he then says, so who is going to be next for the chop? I think inevitably, probably Prince Harry. And there'll come a time when she'll think that she doesn't need him. Now, this to me proves what I've said all along on this channel. First and foremost, I think it's inevitable that Megzi and Hazza are going to split up, that they are going to divorce. My bet, if I had a million dollars, right, and I had to do a bet, I would bet that it would be Megzi that would push the divorce button, not Prince Harry. Why? Because as I've, as I've said all along, 
Megzi will come to a point, opinion conspiracy theory, whatever, with her alleged narcissism, that she believes that she can actually live without Prince Hazza, that she can A, get the big bucks without Prince Hazza, and B, get the fame without Prince Hazza. As soon as she believes those two things and those two boxes are ticked, that is when, as far as I'm concerned, she's going to push that divorce button. That's why I've always said all along throughout the years, it'll be Megzi that does it, opinion conspiracy theory, whatever, not Prince Hazza. And we've got royal biographer and broadcaster Hugo Vickers that is saying exactly the same thing here. It's going to be Megzi that pushes the, this divorce button, not Prince Hazza. Now, Hugo Vickers added that even though it hasn't happened yet to his knowledge, okay, Hazza will eventually be painted as the person in the wrong. Why? Because we've seen this pattern with Megzu, right? She loves opinion conspiracy theory, whatever, to play the victim. Loves it. It plays into her alleged narcissism, something that I've learned from my good friend H.G. Tudor, right? She has to be the victim. She has to be the hero of the story, never the villain, never the villain. Her narcissism makes her blind to the actual reality of the situation. So, yeah, when she pushes that divorce button, oh, yeah, she's totally going to make out that Haz is the villain. And as far as I'm concerned, and a lot of you guys are concerned out there, I bet she will use his past against him, his illicit substance usage. Yeah. That's going to bite him in the backside more than the current visa war that's happening at the moment between the Heritage Foundation and the Biden administration, which, by the way, the Heritage Foundation, oh, they've appealed. I released another video last week with my very, very good friend, DC lawyer John Witherspoon. He gave his legal opinion and analysis on all of it. Check it out. It's extremely interesting. In the meantime, though, Hugo Vickers had so much more to say. He says, I don't know when she might make that particular call, and it's not for me to speculate, but you know she'll probably somehow put him in the wrong so that she can say that she's a wronged woman and he's just behaved like all the others. I mean, I don't think she ever admits that she's wrong about anything, but I feel very sorry for Prince Harry because I think he's in a very, di very difficult place at the moment. I don't feel sorry for Prince Harry at all. I think Hugo Vickers, admittedly, is probably a better person than me on this one. I don't feel sorry for him at all. As far as I'm concerned, he's a grown adult. He made his own choices out of freedom. He had the freedom to make his own choices. He chose Megzi. He co-signed absolutely everything with Megzi since Megzi. It's as simple as that. Everything that they did, just for example, via Netflix to attack the royal family, he co-signed quite literally in the contract. And everything that was released as part of their Meghan and Harry mockumentary. Yeah, I don't feel sorry for him at all. Uh, Hugo Vickers says, I think he has been for some time in a very difficult place. I don't think that her projects have done Harry any good understatement of the century but her projects haven't done her any good as well as i've shown you on this channel they are the least popular members of the royal family the one that's worse than them is prince andrew he's the only one below them that says a lot guys that really really does uh, Hugo Vickers says, then says that when Hazard has gone off on his own and got involved with initiatives close to his heart like the Invictus Games, he's been more successful. Again, I have to respectfully disagree with him because when you look at, just for example, the Heart of Invictus documentary that was released on Netflix last year, it bombed. It bombed. The whole Invictus Games is completely tainted because of the antics and the actions of Hazard and Megzi. It's as simple as that. So even his solo, solo project of the Invictus Games, that's not successful either anymore. It's done. It's deceased in the water. Now he adds, um, the Invictus Games wasn't entirely his initiative, that's correct. Uh, it was also the initiative of Prince William and the Ministry of Defence. 
Let's be real here. Uh, but he certainly was the one who made it famous and popular, and he's done an incredibly good job with it. No, he hasn't. He's turned it into the Megzi and Hazza show. And as I've reported on this channel, the next Invictus Games that's happening in Canada, Whistle and Vancouver, apparently a lot of the chatter behind the scenes is that they don't want it anymore because they've turned it into the Hazza and Megzi show. It's over budget. And the money, where the hell has it gone? They're not happy with Azza and Megzi and the Invictus Games, allegedly. Um, but he then says, what's strange about that is uh, that the message, as far as I can read of Invictus, is you are not a victim, you're able to get on with life and are able to make wonderful contributions. And he gets people going again. And yet, what has he done to himself or what he's allowed to happen to himself? He's turned himself into a victim. I mean, he's always complaining about everything and how everybody's against him. And, you know, there's interviews, Oprah, Winfrey, Netflix, the book Spare. It's all a litany of poor little me complaints, which is terrible. Correct. Correct. Uh, Hugo Vickers also believes that if Megzi had not come along, it wouldn't have happened, but also concedes Harry was complicit in it. Well done, Hugo Vickers. He added, my reading of it is she detected that he was uncomfortable about certain things. And in a way, she exploited that and fed on it to the point that he definitely went willingly. And so this has all followed, as we all know, uh, with Tina Brown, the ex-editor of Vanity Fair, uh, going on to a podcast and essentially saying that, oh, my goodness, Megzi? She, she just gets it wrong. <laughs> Leaving the royal family was a disaster. She has all these people, asks them their opinion, doesn't follow it. She, she, she's just absolutely nuts, right? And this is the thing, for those that don't know, yes, the divorce rumours are intensifying because Hazard is said to have had a, quote, three-week break, which included a solo trip to Lesotho in Africa in honour of his charity centre, Bali. He also attended a string of events in uh, New York, did a surprise TV stint with Tonight Show with Jim Jimmy Fallon, also followed the revelations that Hazard celebrated the night of his milestone 40th birthday without Megzi last month. He went on a hiking trip with his pals to celebrate his birthday, leaving Megzi and the kids at home. Now, why is that being pointed out? Well, this is the thing. Um, we have seen throughout the years Hazard and Megzi doing everything together. To the point where Megzi painfully has ensured that she has been included in everything that Hazard does. So for a Sussex confidant to address the rumours and insist, well, you know what? It's normal for couples to not do everything together. Correct. It's normal for couples to not do everything together. However, when you look at the history of Hazard and Megzi, where they've literally done everything together and then all of a sudden you see this major split from nowhere where they're doing all these solo engagements this that and the other and has a bogs off for three weeks without her counting yeah this ain't normal for hazard and megzi and so when we go around full circle and we look at overall what hugo vickers is saying yeah, is Megzi ready to dump and divorce Prince Hazard? With that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, of course, there's going to be more, you do not want to miss my next video, then make sure you subscribe to join our Alt and Nerd tribe, because I'll be honest with you, help us now get to a million, so we could also get that gold play button right there, and hopefully cause a Meghan Markle meltdown on Instagram. Just to let you know, to be completely transparent, we are suffering a little bit of a YouTube purge at the moment. What does that mean? Well, YouTube from time to time likes to unsubscribe. Uh, you guys from channels without your permission and without your knowledge. So please do double check that you are subscribed to this channel. And if you're not, please subscribe so we can turn around to YouTube and say, 
not today, Satan. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Also as well, if you've got some very strong opinions on whether you think Megzi is now ready to dump and divorce Hazza, and I bet you do, then make sure you send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys. Laters. Thank you.